First, let's start with installing the KiCad. To install KiCad, go to the official website and click on download. In the download page, select the OS you want and download the software. After downloading, install the software. After installation, open the KiCad software and click on File, New and select Project and then create a project folder. I'll name this as Test Project. Now open your folder and name your file. After that, click on testproject.sch. Now this is your circuit editor. Now let's start constructing the circuit. To construct the circuit, click on place symbol and select all the components you need. To choose the component, just enter the name. Similarly, select all the components. After selecting all the components, let's learn few shortcuts which are helpful for creating a clean uh, circuit diagram. First one is moving. If you press M on your keyboard while hovering on the component, you can move the component. Next one, let's see how to rotate it. Our the cursor on your component and press R. R. To duplicate or copy a component, just press C while hovering over a component. For now, these are the uh, shortcuts uh, you need to create a uh, circuit uh, diagram. Now let's start arranging the components. Uh, with the shortcuts we learned. Now I have completed my uh, arrangement of the components. Let's start connecting one by one. For connecting, press the green straight line and start connecting the points. So I have finished connecting all the components. Next step is I am annoting the components. If you see here, there is D question mark. So we have to change this. Instead of changing individually, we have an option called annot schematic symbols. Just click this and click on annot. 
and close the uh, window. Now the D question mark has changed to D1. Now let's see how to assign a value. To assign a value, click on hover over this and click E on your keyboard. Now type in your values. Similarly, do for all the components. So I have completed assigning the values. The next step is designing a PCB. So for designing PCB, first you need to generate netlist. Click on net and click on generate netlist. Once you have generated the netlist, click on assign PCB footprints to schematic symbols. Now in this window, you can see towards the left, you have category. In the center, you have the components which are uh, used for your circuit diagram. And this side, in the, towards your right, you have the individual component. So, let's start assigning the footprints. Buzzer. For buzzer, go to buzzers and select a buzzer and see if this uh, selected component suits your component. So this is fine by me. So I am selecting this. Next, capacitor. Go to capacitor TST. I'll be selecting this. Similarly, do for all the components. So I have assigned all the uh, footprints to the components. Now click on apply and save schematic and continue. After that click ok. Now again generate the netlist. After completing all the steps click on run PCB new to layout printed circuit board and click on net and select the file and click update PCB and close after importing the footprints 
let's arrange the footprints so that tracks don't overlap each other. The shortcuts are same as we did for uh, circuit diagrams. So I've done uh, arranging the components. Let's now start uh, routing. Before that, we need to change few design rules. So, so I've already uh, defined a few tracks here. If you want to define a track, go to Edit Predefined Sizes and enter the tracks here like this. And right. So this is how you uh, custom define your track width. So I usually choose 0.4. So I'll go with that and then select the upper or bottom copper. I'm selecting bottom copper and then select route tracks and start routing your uh, circuit. So if a track is overlapping, just choose the other uh, side of the copper. So I'm choosing print copper and do the same thing. I'll also show you other method, uh, which is a wire method. So as you can see, this is blocking the root of this one. So let me choose a copper. Now, if you go beyond this the path is highlighted so you can go up to this point then right click on your mouse and select place through wire and double click which will automatically change the copper and start routing your uh, circuit now we have completed all the tracks if you get a zero here so that means your uh, routing is completed next step is uh, drawing the edge cut for that choose edge cut and select add graphic lines also make sure that you select this and then start from the point where you want make sure all the components are covered inside
so we have defined our outer boundary with edge cut so let's see how this looks in the 3d view go to view under view select 3d view so this is how our circuit looks next we'll see how to add mounting holes to add mounting holes click on add footprints and select a path which is empty and click on it now here search for mounting holes so I usually go with M3 now similarly add mounting holes wherever you require that's how we add mounting holes next we'll see how to change the name So if you go under 3D view, so these are the names which appear on the uh, PCB board after fabrication. So this is reference, we have to change this. So rest I'll leave as it is. So to change it, hover over the reference and press E on your keyboard and change this to M3. Similarly, do for the names which you want. Make sure all your names stays inside the edge cut. If you have anything outside, just move the uh, name inside you don't have to worry about this gray color naming just uh, make sure the blue naming is inside which is F silk so you can ignore this F fab and B fab only make sure you have the names uh, which is under F silk inside now if you see in the 3d view everything is marked and every name is inside the uh, circuit board see how to add custom names on your board to do that click on add text on copper layers and select F silk and select a empty area and type the name of the board or your website so I'll go with the board name this is fire sensor under that I'll name my website and I'll go with the width 0.5 0.5 that's how you custom name your PCB board one last step is adding fill zones to add fill zones first select the copper layer and click on add fill zones and select the edges of your edge cut you can choose any part uh, any pad I'll go with the uh, ground so
I'll go with this. Next, do the same thing for other side. Now our PCB board is complete. The last thing you need to do is export the Gerber files. To export the Gerber files, click on plot and make sure you select a Gerber directory. So I'll just make a folder saying Gerber. Select that folder. Make sure you have FCU that is front copper, back copper, front mask back mask B silk that is back silk front silk you can ignore if you don't have any SMD components and also make sure uh, you select edge cut and click plot and also click on generate drill files and click generate drill file So if you go to the file location, you need to add total 9 files, 9 Gerber files. While uploading for a fabricator, just make sure uh, you zip this file and then upload it to a uh, fabricator website. Concludes my tutorial guys. So if you have any doubt, please refer the uh, complete tutorial guide on my website where I've shared all the details with images. So the link, link will be in the description. So thank you guys. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any doubt, please leave a comment. Thank you guys.